morning, everybody. Please have a seat. More than 54 years ago, at the height of the Cold War, the United States closed its embassy in Havana. Today, I can announce that the United States has agreed to formally reestablish diplomatic relations with the Republic of Cuba and reopen embassies in our respective countries. This is a historic step forward in our efforts to normalize relations with the Cuban government and people and begin a new chapter with our neighbors in the Americas. Here in the United States, we've seen that same enthusiasm. There are Americans who want to travel to Cuba, and American businesses who want to invest in Cuba. The progress that we mark today is yet another demonstration that we don't have to be imprisoned by the past. When something isn't working, we can and will change. Last December, I announced that the United States and Cuba had decided to take steps to normalize our relationship. As part of that effort, President Raul Castro and I directed our teams to negotiate the reestablishment of embassies. Since then, our State Department has worked hard with their Cuban counterparts to achieve that goal. And later this summer, Secretary Kerry will travel to Havana formally to proudly raise the American flag over our embassy once more. This is not merely symbolic. With this change, we will be able to substantially increase our contacts with the Cuban people, we'll have more personnel at our embassy, and our diplomats will have the ability to engage more broadly across the island. That will include the Cuban government, civil society, and ordinary Cubans who are reaching for a better life. On issues of common interest, like counterterrorism, disaster response, and development, we will find new ways to cooperate with Cuba. And I've been clear that we will also continue to have some very serious differences. That will include America's enduring support for universal values like freedom of speech and assembly and the ability to access information. And we will not hesitate to speak out when we see actions that contradict those values. However, I strongly believe that the best way for America to support our values is through engagement. That's why we've already taken steps to allow for greater travel, people to people, and commercial ties between the United States and Cuba, and we will continue to do so going forward. Thank you very much, and I want to thank some of my team uh, who worked diligently to make this happen. They're here. They don't always get acknowledged. We're really proud of them. Good work.